can Mercedes continue their domination from Russia into Suzuka? Will Ferrari have an answer to Mercedes? And what can Red Bull do in Japan? Find out in this video. F1 is back in Asia for the famous Japanese Grand Prix at one of the best racetracks in the entire world, Suzuka. This track has saw many classic moments. Senna and Prost in 1989, Senna and Prost in 1990, and title decider after title decider. It truly is a great track. And here are some stats about Suzuka. The track is just under 6 kilometers long, and the race as ever will be ran over 53 laps. The first Grand Prix was all the way back in 1987, which was the first of the title deciders held at Suzuka, as in that season it was Nelson Piquet versus Nigel Mansell. And the lap record is a 131.5 from Kimi Raikkonen in the Ferrari from last year. If it's dry this weekend, it should be broken. Now last year in Japan, it was Lewis Hamilton winning four Mercedes, just about from the red ball of Max Verstappen. It was a close fight in the end, but the big story from last year's race was the misery for Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel, as because of a faulty spark plug they had to retire early on, thus eliminating Vettel's hopes of winning the title, and things have not really changed one year on. But now let's get into how the top teams are going to do this weekend. Mercedes come off the back of a fantastic Grand Prix in Russia, where quite frankly they dominated. And for this weekend I see more of the same, because Suzuka absolutely suits their car. The Mercedes loves high speed fast corners, that's what Suzuka is all about. And given that they've won here since 2014, I don't see how they can be stopped. And even if it does rain that's not going to stop them. Because as we know the Mercedes in wet conditions is very good. They are 100% the team to beat. But I don't see anyone beating them. With their championship chances now basically over after Russia. Ferrari come here looking for some positivity. Because their last few races have been miserable. But because this track suits the Mercedes aerodynamically more than the Ferrari. I think they will be firmly second best. And after some news this week, things just get worse. As Ferrari now are not using their brilliant battery system. Because the FIA have fitted another sensor to their ERS. To monitor this special battery. And the rumour is that Ferrari has not been using it since that sensor was put on. Compounding their problems. Now I must stress this has not been confirmed to be true. And is just a rumour. But if this is indeed true then that will lead to an unsuccessful weekend. After quite a good race in Russia, Red Bull come here quite upbeat. As in Russia, they weren't as far off those two top teams as they thought they would be. So does that mean they might be better than expected here? I'm not too sure. In the dry around here, they should be firmly behind Mercedes and Ferrari. But if it's wet, maybe they can do something. Like maybe, who knows, get a podium. But if it does end up being drawing qualifying and the race, the best I see is 5th and 6th. Because honestly they don't have the power to compete. So I think Red Bull are going to be praying for some rain. Just to try and spice things up. Going into this race though, let's look at the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton leads by 50 points from Sebastian Vettel with Valtteri Bottas now in P3. After Russia, Kimi Raikkonen dropped down to 4th with Max Verstappen 5th and Daniel Ricciardo in 6th. Lewis here should take one more step towards his title. But of course you never know what could happen. Now though let's go on to the midfield. And see how they will get on. Russia was one of McLaren's worst races so far in 2018. Will it improve here? Nope it won't. Because like Sochi this track is very high speed. And McLaren are goddamn awful at high speed tracks. If it does rain, maybe Fernando Alonso can do something, because of just how great he still is. But if it doesn't rain, McLaren are going to be right at the back. Unfortunately, where they deserve to be. Another team that was awful in Russia was Renault, as they had the same issues affecting McLaren, struggling at high speed. And because of the very fast nature of this circuit, I don't see how Renault can do well. Like McLaren, they have to pray for rain. 
That's their only chance of points. Because I'm afraid in the dry they don't have the pace. It's going to be a tough weekend ahead. After Sochi where they had a decent race, Force India should be about the same here. As because of their usual great straight line speed, it should be a positive Grand Prix. Now here at Suzuka they've not always been fantastic, but most of the time good enough for points. And it should be another double points finish. But if they want to catch McLaren for P6 and the Constructors, I think here they're going to have to be the best of the rest. Because there are not many races left to catch McLaren. But for Force India it should be a good weekend. Williams come here for another irrelevant Grand Prix. Where they're going to be firmly at the back. Maybe the rain can throw up something. But realistically in wet conditions I don't see Williams doing well. This team just cannot wait for 2019. Because of who is supplying them, Toro Rosso come to basically their home race. Where they should be very good. Because Honda are going to try and use their Spec 3 power unit. The one that ran very well last weekend in practice. And if it does perform well here, and they don't suffer any reliability issues, then for this race they could be really strong. Honda in front of their home fans are always keen to do well. That's why they've brought this upgrade. And after the troubles they've had since coming back into F1, hopefully it does pay off. After a mixed race in Russia, Haas come here to continue closing down Renault for fourth. And given what Renault is most likely going to be like this weekend, they really should. Ever since Haas came into F1, Suzuka has been a good track. They were very fast in 2016, and last year scored points with both cars. And I would not be surprised if they did the same. There's only two things though that could hold them back. If it is dry struggling with tyre wear in the race. And that if it does somehow rain. They don't exactly in the wet have an amazing car. So even if in qualifying they are very fast as usual. There will be some challenges for the race. That they must overcome. And finally is Sauber who come to this race on a massive high. After Charles Leclerc's incredible P7 in Russia, and really because of that great performance, they should be doing something similar here, as the Sauber car normally is very fast at this kind of track. It's also going to be interesting to see how Charles Leclerc does, as this is his first time at Suzuka. Hopefully he does get up to speed quick, because Sauber desperately need him to be fast. Now guys, let's look at the constructor's standings. Mercedes clearly lead from Ferrari with Red Bull in third. Mercedes should be wrapping up this title very soon. Renault are just about holding on for P4 ahead of Haas with McLaren P6 and Force India P7. I don't see how Renault can hold on. And then it's Toro Rosso 8th, Sauber 9th and Williams in P10. Nice to see it getting close between Toro Rosso and Sauber. But guys this is what I'm doing on the channel for this weekend. At 4pm on Friday I'm going live for a practice review at Suzuka. Then at 6am UK time I'll be going live for the qualifying watch along. And then my review of qualifying will be out sometime on Saturday night again UK time. On Sunday my race watch along will be live at 10 past 5am. And then live again on Sunday at 8.30am for the race reaction. And then on Monday will be my race review between 4 and 5pm. Make sure to come along for all of that. It will be a pleasure to have you along. But with 5 races to go in 2018, Mercedes here should take a massive step towards both titles. And even though it is sad to say, I don't see Mercedes being stopped. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys to join my Discord server. There's a link below down in the description also with my Twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what are your predictions for the Japanese Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazer HD, goodbye.